Hello, I'm Doug Applegate. I want to welcome you to the very first Inventi Farmer YouTube video. In this video, I want to introduce you to what we will be doing in future videos. We do many things, we build many things around this farm and we're gonna focus primarily on those type of things, the things that we built. So there are all kinds of projects that we like to do. So they're gonna range from uh, metal-based construction type projects, uh, components and builds that we do here on the farm. Uh, we also do some things with uh, electronics and software. And so we'll be covering some of that as well. And then um, uh, even some projects like uh, Brent has a solar power array at his uh, house and he's taking his house off grid as far as electricity. So we'll show how some of these types of things are done. On the metalworking side, uh, Luke has a tender truck that he built to use with his sprayer. Um, and so we'll show how that's put together and some of the uh, unique features with it. And then uh, he's also got a project uh, this winter where he would like to uh, take our belt conveyor that we use at the grain bins and convert it from electric power to a gas engine and then do hydraulic drive. So he's going to add a wheel so we can drive this thing up to the bins and, and uh, load out as well as potentially use it next spring with our strip till machine. Um, the strip till machine has some unique features. That'll be of interest, I think. Um, and then uh, just some things around the shop. So we have a CNC machine that uh, has a whole story behind it, but uh, we bought this machine very cheap, honestly, and uh, rebuilt the control system in it. So we'll probably talk about that. Uh, Brent has done things like um, he enjoys tuning the diesel engines, and so our pickups uh, have special tunes in them, and he even has a Dodge pickup with a dual turbocharger in it, so we'll probably visit that. Uh, and then on the electronics and software side, uh, Brent has quite a bit of experience on control systems, so we get into some CAN bus things, and that was the case with the diesel uh, uh, on his Dodge pickup with the um, uh, CAN bus driven turbocharger. Uh, we'll probably talk about that at some point in time. Uh, software side, um, one of the things that uh, Luke has done for the farm, uh, he built this app and we've got all of our bins in here. And we can see this bin and right now, the fan's running on it automatically. And so this one with the green check mark, and let's just take a look at it. Uh, this bin's got soybeans in it. Uh, in the app, we can set the uh, EMC level. In other words, what moisture we want dried, or in this case, we're actually re-wetting the beans, and the temperature range for it to run. Um, here we can see the hours that this fan has ran this week. Uh, it's ran most days, but we've got a couple days in there that haven't ran. Uh, we can also look at it by the month and by the year of when those fans have ran. So that's a really cool thing. It's something that we're gonna show you how we do this. We're gonna make the source code available and it's gonna be things that you might wanna actually do on your farm. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, we also are very fond of uh, 4-H and FFA and STEM type classes, the science, technology, engineering, and math type things for the young people. Uh, so some of these projects uh, are gonna involve some electronics. Uh, we might actually make some of those electronics available uh, and go through the teaching with some of this type of thing. So um, if you think of um, things that can be done on the farm uh, that maybe have some software and things involved, we're gonna be doing some of that kind of thing. So it's pretty exciting all these different kinds of projects. It's very unusual as far as farms go. So we're probably not going to show you much about driving tractors and getting stuck in the mud and all those fun things. We're gonna be talking more about how we build things, the process, and we'll show you how to do these things. So 
this kind of goes along with our manufacturing company just a little bit and some of the things that um, we can do because of our manufacturing such as um, building circuit boards so uh, we'll show you how that's done uh, here on our farm uh, the circuit boards are built here for MixMate, so that's kind of an interesting process so anyway it's uh, we've got a lot of fun projects we're going to be doing uh, show you what we've done in the past even on some things um, this kind of started uh, the electronic side about 20 years ago with uh, Brent and Luke build a remote start for the tractor that runs the auger at the bends at harvest time. We'll go back and take a look at that. Um, some of the other projects through the years, um, but primarily current things we're doing now. So we're really looking forward to sharing this with you, uh, doing some enabling for the youth and whoever likes to, um, you know, build and do this stuff because there's a bunch of farmers out here that build things and it's quite an inventive bunch, honestly. So I'm looking forward to sharing this, uh, looking forward to enabling people on new ways of doing things, um, you know, developing new skills and um, really looking forward to sharing this with you. So uh, probably one of the first little things that's coming up here in one of the very first videos, uh, I had a little, metal sculpture project here that I've never done anything like that before, but I'm going to show you a bit about that. And that's a Christmas present. So that's coming up shortly because that's got to be finished soon. And uh, anyway, uh, and then we just were recently out in Montana and visited Walker Farm. So we're going to take a look at the Big Bud tractors, which is um, pretty fun. I, those are an iconic tractor and they've done an amazing job restoring those tractors and bringing them up to current standards. So those are used on their farm. Uh, so that's a fun little segment we'll be doing. Um, you just never know where our travels are gonna take us. Um, you know, we're meeting people around the world and new crops, you know, things, we're in the middle of corn and soybeans and I've gotten to ride with the rice grower of the year in his combine and combine rice and something that I would not have seen before. And we're gonna share things like that with you. So looking forward to it, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, I wanna share all this fun stuff we're getting to do. So looking forward to it, please subscribe, watch for our next video.